Hi, this is Tim of Black Rooster Audio. Now we have the addition of a tape machine emulation with loads of options. Now it's a great asset to the Black Rooster Audio product line. If you haven't heard already about how much time and effort goes into bringing you great sounding, useful, authentic audio tools, then Magnetite is a great place to start. Here I have a snare drum, which has got a little bit of broad stroked EQ with the VEQ5 on it, but I just want to give it a little bit of oomph and a little bit of presence. One of the beautiful things about the Magnetite is the fact you've got different options with tape type. In this particular case, I preferred the black tape at 7.5 inches per second. But you can bring back a little bit more of that fullness of the sound by using 15 ips. Or remove some of the top end with the bias. We'll put it back to what works best for you. Try this on your own snare drum, bring some life back to it. What we have here is a smooth, emotive, moody vocal. Now, one of the things that was distracting me away from that and trying to keep that essence in the track was a little bit of harshness in the top end. Let's take a listen. Let's engage the magnetite and see if we can get that back. See how it just grabs that vocal and it keeps it right where it should, so you've got a little bit of saturation and a little bit of color, but you've also taken out that harshness. So I'm running that with the blue tape type at seven and a half inches per second, and that's what suited this track. And you've got so many options, which is perfect. Just sounded like chocolate. Now why not add some flavor or crunch to your drum loop? Now this really is a tape machine emulation to be reckoned with. So that just shows you three ways that you can use the Magnetite to work on your own creations. And you're not limited by anything but your imagination as to what it can do for your mixes. May the flux be with you.